far, so far it's Morgan. Oh. Okay, wait a minute. That's every teacher we know. Okay, hang on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Noseworthy! Yes, you want it! Oh, speaking of Mr. Noseworthy, you yeah. want to see me about something? So I'll catch up with you guys later. Oh! Tanya is in trouble. Me in trouble? I don't think so. Uh oh, that uh -oh. Sass. That's sass attitude. That's sass attitude. If the tape output volume is inconsistent, mm -hmm. isolate the faulty resistor and remove it. Okay, isolate the faulty resistor. Resistor? What does a resistor look like? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> what a day, what a day, what a day, day, day. Hey, guys, what's with the outward expressions of joy? You didn't hear. Don't tell me. Did Tinky Winky finally get his own show? <laughs> no, you clod. Miss Atal is away for a week. Yes! Oh, oh, yes! Five beautiful Atal free days. You probably don't have to do that stupid report on, uh... What's the name of that story? The Gift of the Magi. That's right, that's right, by that guy, uh... Um, oh, Henry. Right, it's in one of those, um... Books! Right, that's right, that's right. That's right. <laughs> this is cares? awful! Huh? Why? Don't you see? It took me months to refine my sucking up technique with a tall. I had it down to a science! <laughs> this ruins everything. So what? Just suck up to the substitute. You have no concept, do you? <laughs> you have no idea. You can't just suck up any which way with any teacher. <laughs> it's like putting gas in your car without knowing if it needs regular or... Unleaded. Yeah. It's like giving a present to a relative without knowing if it's your aunt or your... Uncle. It's like feeding your pet without knowing if it's a cat or a... Turnip. <laughs> I was doing so well, too. <laughs> My point is, a new teacher means a whole new sucking up strategy. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Kevin. Would you give me that? <laughs> yeah, radioactive. Yes. Yes, she is right here. It's for you. Who is it? Josh. Josh, really? Yes, he was very polite, too. You... <laughs> Josh? Hi. <laughs> I know. I know what I need. I need apples, lots of apples. Oh, teachers love students who give them apples. Are you gonna give the teacher apples? What are you, a cartoon character from the 1950s? <laughs> Luckily, I always keep an emergency stash of fresh apples. Listen, Ethan, you don't need to suck up. Substitutes are always pushovers because they want you to like them more than the regular teacher. I'm telling you, the only way this class could be any easier is if one of us was the new substitute teacher. <laughs> Hi, guys. Guess what? I'm the new substitute teacher. <laughs> but you're not a teacher. I know. It's weird, but Mr. News really said since I'm a really good student and I've always wanted to be a teacher, it'd be a great way for me to try it out. That and they couldn't find anybody else. <laughs> That's great, Tanya. Hey, way to go. Thanks. Isn't it great? Have an apple. <laughs> this is too good to be true. Tell me I'm not dreaming. Somebody pinch me. Ow, not that hard. <laughs> uh, you're not dreaming. I'm really the substitute teacher. Now don't tour with my emotions, Tanya. This is very important to me. It's true. And Actually, I wanted to go over a few things. I thought that we should discuss my curriculum. Woo! See ya! Uh, but Kevin, I just wanted to... Take care. Okay. Well, uh, since the book report is due on Friday, I thought... I have that... a Granny Smith, too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, Ethan! But... <laughs> you know, Tanya, this could be a real problem. What do you mean? Think about it. With you as a teacher, those guys think that they're in goof-off heaven. You know, they're bound to take advantage of a situation like this. Mm, you're right. Thanks for the warning. You're welcome. Anyway, I actually wanted to discuss O. Henry's use of the metaphor of... Where are you going? Huh? Oh, um... <clears throat> well, I'd love to stay and all that, but Josh wants to meet in the cafeteria. He wants to hold hands. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> well, George, you're the only one left. I don't suppose you want to hear about my curriculum, do you? 
Tanya, 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 Tanya. There's no need for traditional teaching methods. I have found a new way to study. All I have to do is put the book under my pillow and then sleep on it. The information will seep into my brain, Tanya. It will seep. Seep? Seep! Okay, uh, you're, you're free to go. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> First, I think we should look at O. Henry's use of the metaphor of... <laughs> Dutch boss is walking around with his kick me sound in the back, right? He has no idea. It was so hilarious, right? Hello, everyone. And then Dutch comes up to me and pokes me in the side, because what I didn't know Hi, is Chicago. that I had a poke me in the side sound in my back, right? Hi, students. But I got back at him the next day. I put a sound in the back and said, don't treat me very nicely. Yes, that's right. I said, hello, students. Yeah, yeah. Freaking book! <laughs> All right, Ben, that's a Kevin, I'm giving you a detention! <gasps> that's funny. That's a good one. Danny, a detention. You almost had me there. A detention. <laughs> I'm very serious, Kevin. You can't give me a detention. Can you? Yes, I can. And I'm giving you one. So let's get one thing straight. While we're in this classroom, I am your teacher. This is my class, and in my class you behave. You understand me? Yeah, yeah, I guess I do. Good. <sighs> yes, George. Buongiorno, volevi sapere quando è che dobbiamo dare il rapporto sul libro The Gift of the Magi? What? Whoops. I fell asleep on my Italian book. <laughs> I'm just uh, thinking about that guy you like there. Uh, what's his name? Slosh. Josh! Whatever. <laughs> just thinking about the old nice guy routine he's pulling on you. Nice guy routine? Yeah, you know, at the beginning of a relationship, every guy pulls a nice guy routine, you know, holding hands, giving chocolates. Is he, uh, is he giving you a rose yet? Yeah. Huh. Okay, look, it's not an act, okay? It's not like a routine. Josh is really a nice guy. Look, believe what you want. All I'm saying is on your third date, he'll be all over you. Oh, you are crazy. Take it from the master. I've pretended to be nice dozens of times. <laughs> well, you know what? You should try just a bit more often. <laughs> All right, I think I got it. You fixed it? Certo. <laughs> I mean, I think so. <laughs> yeah! That sounds good. Right. That sounds great. Right. 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 No, no, it's not quite right. It sounds fine to me. What is it? The dynamic range isn't perfectly perfect? No, no, the frequency response is slightly off. No. 
Well, what is it then? It's a Yanni tape. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess I just gotta try again. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is an improvement. What am I doing? <laughs> What you up to? Nothing. <laughs> Want to play charades again? No. Oh, why not? I have things to do. Bye. Hey, Ethan. Hey, Teach. Please don't call me that. I got you some apple juice. Um, Ethan, <laughs> don't. Some apple cobbler. I, I think, don't think A pineapple. But... <laughs> A pineapple? I ran out of apple things. <laughs> Morgie. <laughs> Danya. Well, today is Tuesday, and that's hanging out at the mall day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. But I'm meeting Josh over there, and we kind of like to be alone. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, you go. He sounds like a really great guy. Oh, he is so nice. So I heard. No, you go. Don't worry about me. <laughs> okay. And anyways, you know, it'd be kind of weird hanging out with my teacher. <laughs> I mean, who's not? <laughs> Hey, you don't look too happy. I'm not. Life is over. George, all my friends think of you as a mean and boring teacher. Hey, that's not true. I still think of you as a friend. Oh, that's so sweet, George. Thank you. You're welcome, Miss Atoll. <laughs> talking about? Morgan, here's a magazine. Ah! And Kevin, here's a hockey stick and a puck. Have a blast. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was something left. Apple turnover. For my dearest teacher. Ethan, you don't have to suck up. I just want you to have fun. What? I want you to have fun. Here, I brought you a disc man. Enjoy. En enjoy? I, 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 I don't... What? <laughs> Come on, I want all my students to enjoy this class. Woohoo! <laughs> this is just too weird for me. Can I go outside? Sure. Everyone can go. Class dismissed. All right! <laughs> and uh, don't worry about that book report due for Friday. I've canceled it. Woohoo! Hey, Tanya, can you really do that? It's under control. Woohoo! Hey, won't you get in trouble with Mr. Tan? I said it's under control. Woohoo! Okay then. <laughs> Everyone go have fun and someone please wake up George. Tan, you know what? It looked like this was gonna be a big drag there for a while, but I am glad you've seen the light. And forget about that detention. Oh, that's the Tanya I know and love. Mwah. Friends again? You bet. You bet! <laughs> let's go, gang! Let's go! Come on, George. George! Why do you halt my slumber so abruptly? <laughs> Man, you are so discourteous. Dictionary. <laughs> hey, Tanya, here you go. Happy No. Opportunity. Now go. But what are you going to do? Oh, I just have a little bit of work to finish up. Go. This is so confusing. <laughs> it's good to have friends again. She can show, she can show. Hey, Tan, I forgot my, uh... Oops. <laughs> oh, Tanya is sleepy. Oh, Henry Book Report by Kevin Calvin. What? Oh, Henry Book Report by Morgan Lee. By George.
Good grades. Good friend. Friend gets in trouble. I'm telling you, it was an astonishing spectacle. And the sound was so formidable. And the drums, oh, the drums were pulsating in an inordinately exceptional way. Oh, Kevin, can you please just, like, watch George for a second? Because he's been talking to me for, like, half an hour. And I haven't been able to understand a word. Word, a series of sounds that communicates a meaning. Also, mm -hmm. a graphic representation of that sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here, read this. <clears throat> Mm. These recipes look so palatable. <laughs> Morgan. Hey, I have a question. What is it? Just listen, 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 okay. Look, if somebody is doing something for someone, and that something is good for the someone but could get the somebody in trouble, should the someone stop the somebody from doing the something? <laughs> hey, George, you want to talk some more? All right, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Listen. <clears throat> Tanya is doing our book reports for us. What? That's yeah, true. I saw her. She doesn't know I saw her, but I did. Oh, no. Oh, yes. She wanted us to like her class so much that she let us goof off, and now she has to cover for us? Mm -hmm. We can't let her effectuate our labor for us. No, we can't let her do our work either. No. <laughs> she could get expelled for this. I know. OK, I know. I know what we'll do. Starting tomorrow. We are all going to be perfect students. Yes. Affirmative. Uh. <laughs> Wait a second, Kevin. Yeah. Do you realize what you just did? You gave up a guaranteed A plus just because you were concerned about a friend. I haven't been feeling well lately. <laughs> you know, Kevin, mm -hmm. you might just be a nice guy after all. No! <laughs> okay, now remember, today we are perfect students. Right. <laughs> Speaking of perfect, how's uh, Posh? Josh! Whatever. <laughs> well, we. Went on our third date last night. Yeah? And? And you were right. All he did was try to kiss me all night. Aha! I was right! I was right! I am always right! So, you know, we're going on another date tonight. <laughs> We did our book reports. What? Two days early? Well, we figured this would give you more time to correct them, Miss Tanya. I put my book report in a protective sheet, Miss Tanya. Thank you. George. I suggest that we all read chapter one of War and Peace, and then Miss Tanya can question us on this. Good idea, Kevin. And please make the questions very difficult, Miss Tanya. Is everybody ready to party? <laughs> On. We're not goofing off anymore. We're trying to be model students from now on. Well, somebody could have told me that. Guys, stop it. I don't want you to study. You could have called. Guys, you're supposed to be having fun. You're supposed to play. We are? Yes. I'm getting mixed messages here. Come on, you have to misbehave. Call me when you've made up your minds. I demand you start goofing off immediately. All right, that does it. You leave me no choice. Detentions for everyone. What? What? That's right, detentions unless you guys stop goofing off right now. Tanya, we don't want to goof off anymore. We know that you were writing our reports. You do? Yes. <laughs> oh. Listen, Tanya, we're willing to do the work that we're supposed to do. We realize that we put you in a really tough position, and we're sorry. We really are sorry. Yeah, sorry, Tanya. But now you guys are going to treat me like a teacher again, and you won't be my friends anymore. Yes, we will. No, you won't. We will. 
No, you won't. Not when you see the marks I'm going to be giving you for these book reports. <laughs> they stink. <laughs> really? Well, just by glancing at them, I can tell that you've missed the point of the story completely. And, George, you gave me a recipe for apple jelly. <laughs> oh, I slept on the wrong book again! <laughs> well, this is stupid. One time I tried to be a good student, I get bad grades and a detention. Huh. It's kind of ironic, don't you think? Like the guy in the story. Yeah. What did you say? No, I'm just saying it's ironic, like the guy in the story, how he sells his watch to buy his girl a comb. Yeah, and then she sells her hair to get him a chain for his watch. It is ironic. Yeah, yeah. You got it. You understood the main theme of the story. We did? <laughs> yes, irony! You mean I actually learned something? <laughs> yes! Wow. Tanya, I guess you must be a good teacher after all. <laughs> well, thank you, but I, I learned something, too. I love being a teacher, but I never want to teach my friends again. <laughs> hey, you know what's really ironic? What? That to bring out the sweetness in an apple tart, you gotta put in a little bit of lemon juice. <laughs> It's a movie. Fingers. Uh, two words. First word. The finger movie. <laughs> Skiing. Walking. A uh, movie. A guy playing charades. Uh, running. 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 Okay. Uh, running something. Running dork. Running nerd. <laughs> running suck up. Running bozo. Running mad. Yes, running yes, mad. Yes, yes. Right. Okay, okay, I got one. I got one. Your turn. Your turn. Uh, uh, basketball. Hoops. Uh, NBA. Michael Jordan. Uh, okay, okay. Rockstar. Uh, musician. Uh, guitar. Um, uh, guitar. Uh, instrument. Uh, string. Uh, uh, strum. Uh, uh, playing. Um, okay. Okay. Eating. Apples. Eating. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, forget it. You'll never guess. What? Titanic jaw. What? <laughs> what about the the basketball, the guitar, the apple? Basketball is my uncle Tibby's favorite sport. And whenever he watches a game, he puts on a tie. Tie! <laughs> Guitar is a weird G word, so is the word nat, which, if said backwards, ignoring the G, sounds like tan. Tan! <laughs> and the last thing was Ethan's apple pie. Ick. <laughs> tie. Tan. Ick. Titanic! <laughs>